Welcome to the Dad Code Podcast, where real dads come for real talk and no BS. We are your host, Blake Melton, Bradley Newberry, and for the first time live, Matthew Parker. How you guys doing? Man, great. F- fantastic. <laughs> not, he's not just a picture, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Live. I wanted yep. to wear the same shirt, but... Uh... <laughs> ah, whatever, man. In the flesh. We thank everyone for taking the time to hit play or download this episode of DDS. What are we talking about today here? What do we do? Man, uh, so we did a co- uh, college football elimination show for, from the SEC. Um, it got such a great response, we decided we are going to delve into the NFL Get out there and, and find out which teams really should just go away. Mm-hmm. I think I think we might strike some nerves here. Let's strike a chord with some folks. We'll see, but I, I think everybody might have some differing opinions. But then again, we may all have the same opinions. I, I have no idea. We haven't talked about it. Yeah, I think this that is, we may be closer than you think. We'll see. We'll see. We got a lot of lot of notes going on here. They have a lot more notes than I do. I think I might have four or five words written down. Uh, but, uh, I think this is going to be really, really interesting <clears throat> guys. Yeah. Uh, it's you ready. I'm ready. I'm Let's ready. jump right in. All right. So what we'll do, I'll, I'll just kind of tee up each team and then we'll go down the table with some quick thoughts and then in out. We'll bring six of these teams to the discussion table. Mm-hmm. After the six, we'll bring three of them to the chopping block. And hell, we may eliminate all three. We'll see. We'll see. After the discussion. If they got to go, they got to go. <laughs> but the first team we want to discuss, we're going to talk about the AFC East. This team has played 62 seasons in the NFL, 37 and 21 in postseason play. They are the owners of six Super Bowl titles, the New England Patriots. Mm. Parker, your thoughts. You know, when looking at this, guys, and deciding which team should be eliminated or not eliminated, there's a few questions I brought to myself. One, how bad is the team? Mm-hmm. Two, does that ch- does that team have any chance of ever being good? Mm-hmm. And three, would the NFL be any different if they didn't exist? Right. And the answer to these questions on this one, I mean, the Patriots don't touch any of those. Obviously, we're keeping them around. Right. Now, I, I have an interesting question. Minus Tom Brady. Tom Brady never played a game in the NFL. Are we having this same conversation about the New England Patriots? I'll say I remember early 90s Patriots. Mm-hmm. I remember they were pretty bad, Parker. They were, but they had some years under Purcell and, 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 and Bledsoe. I don't think we know the answer to that yet. Mm-hmm. I think we're still – it's kind of like the was it Brady or Belichick question. Yeah. You know, a quarterback can make a difference in one year. Right. A coach, I think, takes three or four years for us to really know that answer. Mm-hmm. I think that's fair. I mean, I – it's hard to play the hypothetical situation there with something that enormous like Belichick and, and Brady, but uh, yeah. I agree. They got to stay. I want to go ahead. I will say they did have one other quarterback that started in that stretch and Matt Castle, mm-hmm. and they did win 11 games that year yeah. unexpectedly. So did the Titans know a little something about Matt Castle? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I like to call him old noodle arm. Yeah. <laughs> it was well, awful. He could not throw a 10 yards. Yeah, it's terrible. Well, I've heard of Matt Barkley. Maybe doing a little something with the Titans. You know what? It's better than Logan Woodside. Yeah. You know, the, okay. uh, I, I, the thing about the Titans, it doesn't matter who the backup is because it's all about Tannehill either way. Tannehill goes down, right. the team goes down. Right. Sorry. Got off on a tangent. Yeah, right. you it's did. all because the Patriots You're opening up a can of worms. It's because there. the Patriots are safe. Yeah. yeah. All right. We'll move on. This team in the AFC East has played 62 seasons. They own a postseason record of 16 and 18. Zero Super Bowls, but... They've gotten there. They've lost like three Super Bowls in a row. The Buffalo Bills. You know, the Buffalo Bills, if you were to go buy an NFL franchise today and you wanted to spend the least amount of money, do you know what team it would be? The Buffalo Bills. (laughs) Uh, That's kind of crazy to me to think of. Bills Mafia. The Bills, though, in my opinion, are comfortably in. They've had Jim Kelly. They've got some huge Mm. names throughout the years. And they're making a huge resurgence. I love their coach. I love their quarterback. Uh, to me, it's. I mean, I know they lost a lot of Super Bowls, but they were just wide left or wide right. Just they were right there. Mm-hmm. They were against a massive Dallas team back then. Back then, yep. 
to me, they're safely in. I agree. You know, I, when talking about all these teams, one thing that I consider is their trajectory currently. And I think you're right. I think with the personnel they have in place right now, I don't hate their chances moving forward uh, by any means. And I agree about the, the past players. They've been there. Jim Kelly, all those, Thurman Thomas, uh, loving it. So um, they're in for me. They are 100% in for me. It's maybe a surprise to most of you listening that uh, this was the first team that I ever followed. Thanks to neighbor across the street, they were from Buffalo, New York. Oh, wow. So uh, I, nice. Brandon and I would go over there, get the ice cream sandwiches, and heard stories about Thurman Thomas, Jim Kelly, yep. Andre Reed, Don BB. Love some Andre Reed. So, man, I, 100% in, you know, uh, there's a lot of talk about them potentially relocating. Um, Maybe another story for another day, but I, they're yeah. safe. They're safe for me. Moving. I think there's a team more likely to relocate. Yeah. <laughs> when we get there, I'll tell yeah. you why. That's man. Miss. There's there's some shots. Why it's a bow happening here? <laughs> because these two don't. They're not plugged into that team like I am. But uh, <laughs> AFC East, Miami. Oh, I'm sorry. Fifty six seasons. They own a postseason record of twenty and twenty one. Two Super Bowl titles. The only team in the NFL to go undefeated, the Miami Dolphins. You said it right there. My argument is simple as one more, one sentence. The only team to ever go undefeated and to win the Super Bowl. Uh, you you can't kick out the team that holds the hardest record in all of yeah. the NFL. Yeah. Totally agree. Um, I will say that their history is what saves them because I, I mean, currently they are a bit of a dumpster fire in my opinion. Um, they just seem to be a mess recently, but their their history. I mean, the the undefeated season and the Super Bowl. How can you cut a team that has that kind of track record? Uh, but for me, they're in. I, I I don't have any reason to, to to put them on the chopping block. I think Miami's a little bit better nowadays than you remember. I yeah. think they're on the uptick, just like Buffalo. They they may be, but I I, <laughs> I'm I don't think they're quite Buffalo yet. I know a lot of people are down on Tua. I'm actually the opposite. If you remember just a couple of years ago, he was the big pick that was coming mm-hmm. into the draft. And, yeah, he got hurt and didn't have a great year last year, but he's looking great at training camp. And I actually yeah. expect him a lot higher than a lot of other people are this year. We'll yeah. see. They could He could prove a lot of people wrong. He Look, really without, could. Arguably, without any of this history, what may have saved them for all of us, Ace Ventura. There you go. That's true. <laughs> Snowflake. Out, Finkel. Snowflake. <laughs> Finkel is Ironhorn. <laughs> Ironhorn is Oh, my gosh, it's so good. Uh, the last team in the AFC East, 62 seasons, a 12-13 and 13, uh, postseason record, one Super Bowl. I believe it was Super Bowl three. The New York Jets. Guys, I have some really strong thoughts about the Jets. Yeah. Has there ever been a team in the NFL, you could just – Close your eyes, and I could tell you some bad news about it, and you'd be like, that's so Jets. <laughs> Back in 1979, this has nothing to do with football. I just thought this was a fantastic story. That not everybody knows. The Jets had a halftime show, and they hired this company that could swear they could fly anything around, you know? So the Jets like, you know what? Sounds like a good idea. Let's bring this team in. Let's have them fly a lawnmower around the stadium at halftime. <laughs> well, wouldn't you know it, the lawnmower stalled, mm. fell from the sky, and killed somebody. Wow. During that same decade, the se- during the 70s, the Jets didn't post a single winning season. Another Jets thing. In 1994, one of the most famous plays in NFL history, the Jets were up, but they ended up losing to a very famous Dan Marino Fake spike play. Was this on Monday Night Football? I believe it was. I believe it was, too. I remember. And to make it even more Jets, rewind the clock 11 years ago from then, the Jets then passed on Dan Marino. Belichick didn't even want to coach for this team. In the late 90s, Bill Purcell set it up perfectly for one of his assistants, then Bill Belichick, to take over as the head coach. And he did for one day. He left a note that just says, I resign as the Jets head coach. He used his opening press conference that was supposed to use him to, he was supposed to announce that he was the new head coach to quit. (laughs) Tim Tebow played for this team. And then of course, my all time favorite Jets moment, 
the butt fumble. Yep. Who doesn't know the butt, the butt fumble, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, Mark Sanchez running to his own guy, fumbling it at the time. If you guys remember, ESPN had a, a segment where you could vote on the worst play in sports. Yep. And the next year, the next week, you'd vote on the worst play in sports. It would beat the previous one. It they was ended, there for how many consecutive weeks? It was, they finally retired the segment <laughs> because nothing could ever Mm-mm. beat that. No. The Jets have had some big-time players over the years. Joe Namath, Curtis Martin, uh, Darrell Rivas, uh, uh, Vinny Testaverde, one of my favorites. I lo- used to love playing the old Madden games. Mm-hmm. With him or Chad Pennington. I almost look at, with my college football arguments with Vanderbilt and the history and why they should be around, I'm almost the opposite of NFL. The Jets have been so bad for so long. I could absolutely argue for the Jets to be in that discussion of uh, oh, being out. Could this be the first of the six at the table? I am going to say they do need to be brought to the chopping block because anytime you have a team that's more known for their blunders and mistakes, I think it's somebody that clearly is doing something wrong and needs to go. All right, I'm going to put a, a, a little star beside it. Because we'll see what else happens. There are only six seats at the table. I had like 10 I want to bring. (laughs) (laughs) We'll get it figured out. We'll get it figured out. We'll move on to the NFC East. This team, 62 seasons, 35 and 28 in postseason play. They are the owners of five Super Bowl titles, but haven't done much recently. The Dallas Cowboys. They haven't done much recently, but they're on the right the right track. They've got a, a, a lot of the right places pieces there, um, and like I said, the five Super Bowls. It doesn't matter if they were zero and sixteen last year; they're in for me. Yeah, I'm the same way. Uh, I think uh, this would be, in my opinion, getting rid of a Coca Cola product, if you will, in the NFL. And I, I don't think that this is a team that, that's got to go. They're safe. Yeah, I'm gonna just keep it like that. Uh, Moving on, we've got a team that has played 97 seasons. They own a record of 24 and 25 in postseason play. Four Super Bowl titles, the New York Giants. The Giants, I kind of feel in that same discussion. I mean, not obviously as as the Dallas Cowboys, but with their history, they're also safe, safe, Say for me, I, I'm not a huge fan of Daniel Jones right now. If we're looking mm-hmm. at it, mm-hmm. present tense, I think if they had a quarterback, they honestly could be a contending team. Yep. But Daniel Jones was one of the worst first round quarterback draft picks in recent memory, and but doesn't kick him out of the league. I agree, and I mean, I, I'm not a New York hater by any means, but uh, I, I think that if you're going to go with a New York team, it's got to be the New York Football Giants. Um, not a big Daniel Jones fan either, but I think that there are some pieces there that they could work with if they could just get a few a uh, few key players back into the the right positions there. Quickly, I say they're safe. Yep. I mean it's just just that simple. That's simple. Nothing really to say about that. Four Super Bowl titles. We're moving on to a team that's played 89 seasons Woo! in the NFL, 23 and 23 in postseason play. One Super Bowl title, the Philadelphia Eagles. I, th- this one again. This whole division feels kind of similar to me. Uh, Philadelphia Eagles can't get rid of them. Too big of a sports town. Too big of crazy battery throwing people at Santa Claus. Yeah. Um, yes, they have nobody at wide receiver right now. I mean, just, uh, just it's not even the rook. No, it's out now. It's, it's abysmal. Um, yeah. They may have a quarterback soon, but, but yeah, they they're staying in. They're in. Yep, I'm with you. I think a, a town that is so fanatical about their sports like Philadelphia, I think you have to keep their football team. They they really haven't been all that bad in the past, uh, in recent memory anyway. Uh, but, yeah, again, this whole division is pretty similar, like you said. Yeah, completely safe. It was one of the quarterbacks that I remember growing up with my older brother, Randall Cunningham. You did not yes. want that guy to get on the outside nope. of Tecmo Super Bowl. You did not <laughs> the run pass, oh, my god! Dude, he was the early day Kyler Murray. Yes. Yep. I mean, safe all day. We're going to move next to a team that's played 90 seasons, Ooh. 23 and 20 in postseason play. Unbelievably three Super Bowl titles. The Washington football team. This was a team that broke my heart whenever I was a fan of the Buffalo Bills in the early days. But uh, I'm going to quickly say they're safe as I pass it on. They're safe, but they have the worst owner and yes. maybe all of professional sports. Agreed, agreed, agreed. I have nothing more to say than all of that. All right. I'm going to move down to the NFC North. NFC North. This team, 
listen to this, 101 seasons of playing football, mm. 36 and 24 in postseason play, four Super Bowl titles, the Green Bay Packers. I don't think there's any discussion. No. Brett Favre is my favorite player on time, in all time. They're in. I'm an old school cheese cheesehead guy, so I'm in. Safe. I mean, Super Bowl one and two, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, no. Yeah. yeah. That's what you say. Started it. This team, 102 seasons, 17 and 20 in postseason play, one Super Bowl in 102 seasons. Okay. The Chicago Bears. The Chicago Bears are in purely for history, but you know they've never had a passer for over 4,000 yards when I believe every other team has. Yeah. Um, they have major issues. But the Chicago Bears, much like Philadelphia Eagles, fan-wise, history-wise, mm-hmm. oldest stadium, I believe, in all of the NFL, they're in. Yeah. Again, they are fanatical about their football in Chicago as they are in Philadelphia. I don't think you can get rid of a, a team with their history – even though they haven't been the greatest here lately, uh, you you know they're always trying to move forward and move up. So I, I like them. Got to be safe. Yeah. Mike Dicka, Walter Payton. Dicka. The Refrigerator Perry. Mm-hmm. I mean, Singletary. Yeah. That's pretty stout there. Jay Cutler. Rex Grossman. <laughs> oh. Nah. <laughs> Led them to a Super Bowl, oh, right? Now I got to reconsider. <laughs> All right. Hey, this team has played 61 seasons. They own a postseason record of 21 and 30. No Super Bowl victories. The Minnesota Vikings. The Minnesota Vikings. Give me that record one more time if you wouldn't do mind. 61 seasons, 21 and 30 in postseason play. No Super Bowls. This is a stupid argument, but when I think about the NFL, I think hard nosed. I think smash mouth. Mm -hmm. I think knock you in your face type football and Minnesota comes to mind for me. My question that I brought up at the beginning, would the NFL change if you remove this team? And my answer to that is yes, it would. Um, I think that they would change. I do believe though uh, that there's not a whole lot of history. I don't have a whole lot of numbers to back up. What my, is it? Tarkington? Yeah. I, I don't have a whole lot of things to back up my, my, my stance on this other than, than Jared Allen, than, than, than Randy Moss, Chris Carter, Randy Moss. Right. Yeah. But, what do we know them? That's what they we know them for. A couple names from video games, hey, really, is what hey, it's coming down to. I mean, come on, really? I mean, yeah, we we know them for their stadium caving in whenever too much snow <laughs> was right. on That's top true. of it. I mean, for me, I, nothing is going to change about the NFL if if Minnesota goes because mm. I forget about Minnesota. Mm. They're so boring. Mm. I like so it. for me, I, I think they're I think they're discussion on the discussion table. They, they got discussion be table. About. Yes. The Vikings are the Kirk Cousins of the NFL. They are. The how fitting, you know? <laughs> no, Jeez. I can see it. I'll tell you what, their new stadium is beautiful, though. I've been there live, yeah. a little preseason game with the Jags. You and know the what Vikings. you call that? Lipstick on a pig. <laughs> Good. That's Lord. what you call that. Dalvin Cook, I got much respect for you. You are my fantasy keeper. Uh, I, look, he has not played 16 games in any season. I, I mean, look, you can get high draft picks and get good players all the time, but I mean, we're going to talk about some other teams that have had really, really good players. And haven't done shit with them. Okay, so I'll put the star beside them. We can, we'll discuss them again. We don't know if exactly they'll go to the table for elimination, but we'll put a star. We can put the star by as many as we want. So the, Correct. Okay. Yeah. And then we're going to bring six to the table. Gotcha. I have a sneaky feeling about this next NFC North team. <laughs> 92 seasons. Mm. So you've had 92 attempts. That's a long time. You have won seven postseason games in your history. Wow. Seven and thirteen, no Super Bowls. The Detroit Lions. And let's continue the discussion about teams that have had great players mm. and just can't seem to get over the hump. I mean, look, I mean, if all of your if all of your success has come fifty years plus ago, what are we talking about? You know, because you want you're gonna be on, on Thanksgiving Day? Is that, is that really what we're hanging on to? At some point Tradition has to die. The Detroit Lions, I have a lot of thoughts about. It's like the Jets. They've won 35% of their playoff games, like you just that you just said. They have been to the playoffs 17 total times. Tom Brady has been to the playoffs 18 <laughs> times. 
<laughs> Nobody wants to go to Detroit. I don't want to go to Detroit. Gronk doesn't want to go to Detroit. When he got threatened to, when he got, was going to get traded there from New England, he threatened to retire. Mm. Arguably the greatest tight end of all time, right? I don't think anyone wants to play in Detroit. If you remember the Barry Sanders, the Megatron the Johnson. Yep. My argument yeah. to Detroit being Detroit, the greatest tight end, the greatest wide receiver or most dominant, maybe it's more accurate. And the greatest running back of all time would all rather retire mm. than to go to Detroit. Yep. Detroit is also the first team to lose every single game in a season. Mm-hmm. I don't think there's any question in my mind they should be considered for the chopping block. I'm in. Just, I'm, I'm for it. I've yes. got the star beside Preach. them. Preach, good and, sir. And they may be the first one that goes just straight to the table. The table of six. I think we can probably all agree they need to be there. I have zero argument with that. All right. Yep. They're, they're the first to the table. I'm going to put a star with a circle around it. They're at the table. Yep. I do have a fun stat about Detroit. Great. So back in the 50s, one of their best players was named Bobby Lane. He was their quarterback. And Bobby Lane was famous for showing up to the games drunk <laughs> and hungover. And he was one of the last players in the NFL to refuse to wear his the face mask when you could still do that. And he is still to this day second all-time passing in Detroit yards behind Matthew Stafford. Mm. Mm, I don't know if that's a... Uh... Uh, a chip uh, or a notch in his belt, or if that is a knock on uh, Detroit. Oh, it's bad because it's only like fi- <laughs> it's only like fifteen thousand dollars. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Man, all right, we're going to the NFC West. We're going to save the South for that last here. NFC West, seventy-six seasons, thirty-three and twenty-two, five Super Bowl titles. The San Francisco 49ers, I'm going to say before I pass them on, they're safe. Yep, they're absolutely safe. They've they're, This is one of those teams that has a down year for like three years, and they're good again. Yep. They're consistently good. Absolutely. Completely agree. I think they're another Coca-Cola or a Pepsi product that you can't get rid of in the NFL. You can't. Joe Montana, Jerry no. Rice, all of them. Yep, all of them. No, no way. Um, 85 seasons, believe it or not, combined with different cities. But they own a postseason record of 22 and 27. One lonely Super Bowl for the Los Angeles Rams. They've been named everything. They've been named everything. They're everywhere. Uh, speaking of beautiful stadiums, uh, so far, yeah. unbelievable. Oh, boy. Uh, but the Rams are in. Uh, Super Bowl, I know it's just one, but they're consistently, they were really bad for their for a good stretch. But they're good now. I, th- I think they've got a good good ownership, good coach. I have no problem with them being there. Yeah, I mean, I think this is the example of the team that's on the right trajectory. They've made moves. That, like you said, they had a little skid there where they weren't that strong, but they did what they had to do to be able to uh, improve their situation, and I like where they're headed, so they're in for me. I don't like their quarterback situation anymore. The Rams? Matthew Stafford. Dude, Stafford is 100,000 times better than Jared Goff. I'm interested to see how that plays out. Straight up trade, pretty much. Jared uh, Goff. Yeah. I, but Jared Goff's on the Lions, for God's sake. That's what I'm saying. I mean, you're about to find out what, what the problem is here. And I, I, I can tell you it was never Matthew Stafford. I, but we're I, not gonna I, we're not gonna be seeing Cam Akers. It doesn't matter. I, Aaron Donald the other day in training camp, because they've had to live with Goff for so long, just so bad. You know, Goff was good there for a couple of years until defense has figured out, oh, my God, it's Sean McVay. Let's just not show our defense until the, the headset cuts off, and then mm-hmm. we'll show it because he can't figure it out. Yep. The other day, Aaron Donald in uh, training camp just came up and gave Matthew Stafford a big hug out of I nowhere. Believe, yeah, yeah. Telling you, Bobby Trees. Jalen Ramsey. I don't hate you like most Jaguar fans do. Uh, moving on, 46 seasons, 17 and 18 overall in the postseason, one Super Bowl victory, the Seattle Seahawks. They, see, they should have two Super Bowl victories. Mm-hmm. One, uh, run the ball, don't pass. Yep. Uh, they're definitely in. They're they're good every single year. I mean, Russell Wilson, they're, they're a, I don't know the numbers, but I'm sure they've won 10 straight, 10 or more games for mm-hmm. God knows how many straight years now they're, yep. they're in. Absolutely. I mean, they have one of the most dynamic players currently in the game with Russell Wilson. Uh, they're on a great trajectory. They've they've been very consistently good. Uh, so I, I'm I'm with you there. 
Yeah. Even though they're one of the younger teams in history of the NFL, I think that they are safely in. Um, they've kind of made a niche market there with their stadium, their fans, the 12th yep. man. Yep. Yep. Um, the Super Bowl victory, which should have been too. I totally agree. Yep. Beast mode. Should have gone beast mode. Should have. Safe. Now we're going to move on to a team that's had 102 tries. They have seven postseason victories, seven and nine, no Super Bowls. The Arizona Cardinals. Put them on the block. They well, have straight to the table. 700, or maybe not straight to the topping block, but to the consideration. They have 771 losses. That is 90 more <sighs> than any other team. The Detroit Lions come in at second at that. If you combine their win rates with the regular season and the playoffs, they're next to last in the history of the NFL. And good luck coaching in Arizona, because if you go there, guess what? You're going to last 2.3 seasons. That's the average length the coach stays Mm -hmm. for the Cardinals. That is dead last in the NFL. They have the longest active title drought in not American sports, but North American sports. They've been in Arizona for 33 years. They've had six winning seasons. They're definitely a candidate in my book. So I'm going to second the nomination for them to go straight to the block. I think that their fans don't care. They haven't done anything. They lose all the time. Their their stadium is consistently overrun with opposing fans. What else is there to say, really? I mean, I, God bless Larry Fitzgerald for well, staying on. Oh, man, yeah. I love that guy. He know, is – what a professional, man. Seriously. I wish – I wish all of our teams that we root for would have had someone like that guy. Yep. But um, Kurt Warner, was he close to saving them in that Super Bowl against Pittsburgh? Do you guys consider Kurt, Kurt Warner a Cardinal or Ram? A Ram. A Ram. Well, a Ram. And, and the thing is, is by saying that, you're de facto saying that he was never a long-term solution. But what happens if he would have won that? That would have I mean, made so, history. So what? I mean, that would have been, everybody been talking about Kurt Warner, not the, not the Arizona Cardinals. Mm, but the Arizona would have been the Super Bowl champ. Okay, what were they to gonna Kurt what were they gonna do after Kurt Warner is the thing, and th- and that's that's what all the good organizations do is they build their organization, and you know going out and getting a one and done guy, you know which is essentially what Kurt Warner right. is. I mean he's a he's a mercenary at that point. Um, it shows kind of where the organization is, and the fans, you know, the proof is in the pudding with the fans. They're not gonna pay to come see some uh, a team that's not investing in their team long term. As much as we are down on the Cardinals, I, I, I'm not a big fan of their coaching staff now, but if they were not in the division they were in, they'd be one of my sneaky picks to make the playoffs Yeah, uh, this year. But the division is just brutal. Mm-hmm. But again, I'd, yeah. if, you know, outside of fantasy football, I could not care less if they're in. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. All right, they are the second team that has earned a right at the discussion table. There are still four more seats. All right. We're moving to the AFC West. Some history here. <clears throat> Every team in this division has played 62 seasons. This one is 15 and 20 in postseason play. Two Super Bowl titles, the Kansas City Chiefs. I mean, move move yeah, on. Safe. Move, move on. on. What, what do you mean to say? Yeah. What are we supposed Bat- to say? Mahomes, there? they're in. They're safe. Yeah. Uh, 62 seasons, as mentioned, 23 and 19 in postseason play. Three Super Bowl titles, the Denver Broncos. Also in. Safe. I have nothing to say. They're in. John Elway. Yeah. It was one of the first games yeah. I had at Nintendo. Yeah. yeah. John Elway football. The spin. Mm hmm. He's safe. Uh, it's safe. TD. Even though the Jags retired your ass, John, I'm looking at oh, you. Jeez. All right, this team. Less left. <laughs> <laughs> this team, sixty-two seasons, twenty-five and nineteen in postseason play, three Super Bowl titles. The Las Vegas Raiders. God, that sounds so weird. Yeah, it <laughs> does. It sounds safe. wrong. I say they're safe. They're safe. Absolutely, they're safe. Yeah, same reasons as before. Too much tradition. I think where this everybody else might have been a coca-cola they're more of a pepsi i still think that they gotta stay i would have said like two years ago though just from the facilities alone you could put them on discussion uh went to a uh, game with your brother and we got there earlier thinking like hey we'll have a beer and be cool and there's nothing there's nothing it's a desolate wasteland around that stadium <laughs> wow it's a parking lot it was no it was literally we were walking around and the we had concrete a, Parking. And people, they, the fans actually, I was ready to get punched in the face because I had to tighten stuff. You know, they're actually really cool to me though. And they were, and they were like, "Hey, why don't you come over and have a beer with us?" Since mm-hmm. there's you know nowhere to get one. Yeah. yeah. Well, there yeah. you go. Fanatical fans. That was Seriously, fun. fanatical Safe. fans. 
What about this last team? Also 62 seasons, 12 and 18 in postseason play. Nothing. No Super Bowl wins. The now Los Angeles Chargers. Sounds weird to say. It should be San Diego. L.A. is not their home. That stadium no. is not their home. They play 17 away mm-hmm. games now. That doesn't uh, seem to fit who they are. That fancy stadium, that seems yeah. just not who they are. L.A. No. didn't want one team, let alone no. two. No. And the Chargers are historically bad. Between 1970 and 2003, they had just eight winning seasons. And if you look back at their players, they were loaded. Yep. Philip Rivers, Ladanian Tomlinson, Junior Seau, Drew Brees. How did they not win a Super Bowl? They went to one Super Bowl and got beat. I, I forget the score, but like 49 to 25 by the 49ers. Mm. This team fits the epitome of if they weren't in the league, would you know? Yeah. I don't think I'd miss them. I don't think I'd miss them. I hate to say it. You know, I. I I agree. They don't fit in L.A. They've they've been loaded for a long time, and they just haven't got the job done. More than anything, they're just kind of a speed bump to everybody, you know, getting through their season. So for me, I'm nominating them to come to the table. Oh, just straight to the table? No, no, no to the discussion oh. table. I completely. Agree. So you want them to have a seat of the yes. six without yes. even hearing the rest of these teams? All right. All right, the seats are getting full. Well, I mean, as long as everybody else agrees, I don't want to. They're just so blot it. Yeah, I I don't. I mean, again, they're another team I forget about. I'm going to put a star, maybe not give them a seat at the table, because unfortunately, I think there's some. There's some bad ones that need need to be discussed. (laughs) I I would probably agree with that. We have the NFL down to eight teams. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) All right. Let's jump to AFC North. I can't believe I just skipped over that whenever I did NFC North. But AFC North, this one is completely safe, but I'll give you their stuff anyway. 89 seasons, 36 and 26 in postseason play, six Super Bowl titles. The Pittsburgh Steelers. I hate the Steelers, but they're safe. They're safe. Same. Don't want to talk about it. How about this? A younger team. 26 seasons in the NFL. 16 and 11 in postseason play. Two Super Bowl titles. Baltimore Ravens. Safe. They have one of the best winning percentages in the history of the NFL. They are my nemesis, but... Yep. Uh, uh, it's got to be safe. They're safe. Absolutely. As a Titans fan, once again, like like Parker said, I, they are my nemesis, but it's hard to deny the trajectory that they're on with a dynamic player like uh, their quarterback at the time. I mean, uh, shit, I can't even think of this. Yeah. Lamar Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's hard to deny that they're on the right path, so they're safe for me. But here's why I wanted to stop giving away seats at the discussion <laughs> table because now we're moving into the great state of Ohio. And we're going to talk about a team that has had 73 chances. They've won 17 postseason games at 17 and 21. No titles to show for themselves. The Cleveland Browns. The Cleveland Browns obviously never been to Super Bowl. Um, They did have a chance one time. They gave a 98-yard play to John Elway in the drive. The drive. To make that happen. Guys, between 2015, listen to how bad the Browns are. Between 2015 and 2017, three seasons, the Browns won four games. Mm. That is a win percentage of eight. (laughs) Eight percent. I'm absolutely on board to bring them to any table that you guys want to bring them to. There's a chair. You could even go back to 1999 since they were the Browns again. They won 32% of their games, and that's including last year's 11-win season. They're notoriously bad. Yes, they have some great history with Jim Brown and Ozzie Newsome and Joe Thomas. Mm-hmm. But what's their new their new history? Tim Couch? Yeah, exactly. I, I'm with you. No, no, no. MTSU's own Kelly Holcomb. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Uh, we are talking about the Bengals, right? Or are we no. talking about the Browns? Well, the Browns. Are they, okay. are they one I, in the I, I don't know if it makes a difference to me. <laughs> Just the whole state. Uh, but, I mean, honestly, I mean, a team that had to be brought back from the dead, I mean, mm. in my opinion, should have stayed dead. Okay. So I am, I am of the opinion that, like Parker, they can come to whatever table they want to. I think their fate is the same regardless. That is three. That Half of our seats are full. Okay. So let's discuss this one. Staying in Ohio, 54 attempts. They have only won five postseason games with a record of five and 14. No titles to show for themselves. The Bungles. You just said it. 
with their record in the, the playoffs. It's the worst uh, record in the playoffs in the history of the NFL. They've won 26% of their games. They've got one Hall of Fame player, Anthony Munoz. After that, they don't really have a whole lot. I mean, they've got Boomer Esiason, Kenny Anderson. Corey Paul, Dillon. Corey Dillon. I mean, they have some players, but not players. players. <laughs> you know, um, they haven't even won, I don't think, a playoff game since 1991. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I thought they were with Andy Dalton at some point they, they yeah. snuck one in, but they didn't. They also have one of the worst ratios of how long they keep a head coach for, and that's even with keeping one head coach for 16 years to how bad it offset. With y'all, I'm with you guys. We could just wipe the state of Ohio off the map. I'm with you. I think Cincinnati has to go. I mean, honestly, I, I could end this discussion and get rid of the entire state of Ohio, in my God. opinion. But I, I'm, for me, the Bengals, when a team is known more for Vontez Burfecht trying to start fights on the field by making dirty hits, I, they got to go, my opinion. So now y'all are seeing why I said, hold on. Let's I save know. some chairs. Yeah, sure. I know. So that's four chairs. We've got two can, chairs. Can we, move, can we siphon people out? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> I'm going to NFC South and saving our favorite AFC South for last. NFC South, this team, 46 seasons, postseason record of 10 and 9, I'd say thanks to last year, and maybe one other season where they beat the Raiders in the Super Bowl. Two Super Bowl victories, the Tampa Bay Bucks. All right, guys, this is going to be unpopular. Okay. But hear me out. Tampa Bay, two Super Bowls, right? Mm Mm-hmm. Erase those two Super Bowls from your mind. Yes, the first one, although they did it well, that's a whole other thing about whose players they did it with. And the most recent one, it feels like a LeBron super team to me. They brought in a mercenary to, to do the job, right? Outside of that, they have the worst win rate in the history of the NFL, winning just 39% of their games, and it's not even close. It's like within 7% of the next one. We're not even – they're – notoriously bad, worse than even the creamsicle uniforms. If you combine their regular season and their playoff success, because they've had some with those two Super Bowls, guess what place they're still in? Mm. Last. Their passing leader, their all-time passing leader, is, for the team, is Jameis Winston. If you take every team and look at their all-time passing leader, The person that's in last is Jameis Winston. The next to last is going to be, it's either, I just forgot, it's either the Bengals or the Browns. But my point being is outside those two Super Bowl wins, this team is not good. They are historically bad. And if we would take away the recency bias of last year, and once Tom Brady leaves that team, if, if you can separate that, I really think they're in the discussion. You know, when you make that argument, it's hard to disagree. <laughs> I mean, uh, yes, they they won the Super Bowl. Yes, Tom Brady's there, but for how long? What is what is what's going to happen moving forward? Uh, Tom Brady, we would assume, isn't going to live forever. I assume he's not immortal, even though he keeps proving me wrong. Right? Kyle Trask. As I said, what are they going to do <laughs> moving forward? Uh, so, yeah, I am definitely worth discussing them hey. discussing them further and comparing them against a, a group of folks yeah. that are on the table as well. I agree. I'll, I'll discuss them again uh, in some pre-show prep with Blake earlier this week. I told him, I said, look, I think this is one of the teams we got to talk about. Yeah. I mean, it's an interesting case study. They are one of the else. worst. They were one of the worst teams that I could ever remember growing up. I mean, they were yeah. Just, Nothing, nothing, nothing. Over and over and over, the the uniforms sucked. Steve yeah. Spurrier sucked at Tampa Bay. So I, I 100% want to talk about them. So we'll, I'll put a star beside it. How about this team? 27 seasons. They came into the league with the Jags. They have nine postseason victories. They have been to one Super Bowl, right? One. Uh, nine and eight, zero Super Bowl victories. The Carolina Panthers. I feel a lot about the Panthers like I do about the Chargers. Um, I just don't really care. I'm, you know, I mean, they're there. That they've had some good players: Cam Newton, Steve Smith, Julius Peppers, Luke Keekley. And I, I, I try not to include players in this that are are, are newer because we don't know how they're going to be. But Christian McCaffrey's legit. Mm-hmm. Um, 
this is an argument. I've got an argument that I want to say for Jacksonville that that I feel like helps save the Carolina Panthers. For me, I'm probably not adding them there, but I can totally see why you would do it. Yeah, I, I'm I'm very much on the fence with them. Um, I think ultimately I would probably elect to 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 not put them on the table to be discussed. Uh, I kind of just want to. I don't. Re- they're kind of meh to me, but at the same time, I, I would kind of want to see a bigger sample size. That that does go to my argument of my what I did say on the first <laughs> thing of 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 Lisa. My thoughts of would you miss them if they were gone? Yeah, I mean, it. it I, that is the argument, in my opinion, to to, to get rid of them. But I mean, I, I. That's the one big argument. I know right? that that's it, right? I mean. I, I don't even think about them. So me, but, a numbers uh, guy, what I see is 27 attempts. They have nine postseason victories compared to a team like Detroit, 92 attempts and only seven victories. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm going to give Carolina some time and I don't even want to talk. That's about my thing. I, I kind of want to see a bigger sample size. I, I really do. I really love their offensive coordinator. And uh, I, I, I'm a Sam Darnold truther. I, I think that he has a real chance this year. I, I think Adam Gase broke him. And I think we're going to learn this year. All right. All right. We'll, we'll leave Carolina alone. What about this team that's played 55 seasons, 10 and 13 in postseason play, one Super Bowl, thanks to Drew Brees, the New Orleans Saints. They're in um, s- simply because, I mean, you can come with off the field things with the hurricane down there and how Katrina and the, the Saints rallied that entire city and, Almost saved the town, really. I mean, that was mm-hmm. a massive, massive deal. Saints are in for me. No discussion. They're in. I, I would argue that they're one of the teams like Tampa Bay that were the New Orleans Aints for a while. Wow. A long while. You know what I'm saying? They were. Yeah. I, think, I think that the Drew Brees, the Katrina story, the Super Bowl, I'm going to say safe, but uh, I'm not going to forget that you were horrible. With Tampa Bay, there's now uh, and also though if we're just including fandom in this, yeah, I mean, yeah, do you get better than who that? Yeah, that I mean, mean, come on, uh, talk about a fanatic fan base. Yeah, I think there are some better. Like fan like, like Parker said that that team healed an entire city, dare I say, an entire region, in a time when it, just absolute devastation had happened around them. And you could even say more than like I find myself cheering for the Saints. Yeah. The Saints. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and I, I, how can you not be a Drew Brees fan as a person? You know, you're safe. Should have been Miami, though. Should have been. And then the old ball coach <clears throat> still may have been coaching down there in Miami. It Saban, changes everything. Saban may have still been there. That's who he wanted. What about uh, 56 attempts, 10 wins, and 14 losses? No Super Bowls. Their fans are maybe cons- considerably opposite than the Saints, the Atlanta mm-hmm. Falcons. Mm-hmm. Beautiful facility. They have the worst loss in the history of the NFL. Mm. I, I don't know well, that. They were you, up against the Patriots. They were up by 25 points with six minutes and three seconds left to go on the clock. 28 mm. to three. And they <clears throat> lost. If you went by Vegas at that moment, if you would have gone and tried to live bet this game, they had a 99.5% chance of winning this game. Damn. Yeah. The, the Falcons, they drafted Brett Favre, for God's sake, and they let him sit behind Billy Joe Tolliver for a year, and they ended up trading him to the Packers. Right. I mean, favor. Yeah, like, well, for <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, the one thing the Falcons have going for them and is, is needlessly, is, is back to the, the Packers. The Packers went undefeated at home in the playoffs from 1933 to 2002. Falcons are the ones that set that. Ooh, ended up beating that. Michael Vick at the helm in yeah. his rookie season. That's right. And that. Speaking of which, do do players hold some of these people like some of these teams to quit from being eliminated? Atlanta has been loaded over the years. Yep. Deion Sanders, Deion Sanders, Julio Jones, Michael Vick. I mean Jamal Anderson back when they were doing. I mean the Rozier. They are loaded. Although at the same time, I could completely see putting them on the discussion this is i would not vote for it but it, i could see if someone did i would not put up a fight yeah i kind of i look at atlanta dare i say it's, it's very similar to the detroit situation had a lot of great talent over the years and they've had 
arguably, you know, one of the better quarterbacks over the last decade, and and they just haven't been able to get it done. You know, I mean, Matt Ryan has been there putting up the numbers, and they just can't seem to put the team around him to be able to get the job done. Um, now the difference is, is it's Atlanta and not Detroit. Um, there are some positives there. They have a fantastic facility, obviously. Um, I don't really know how crazy the fans are there. Uh, again, I, I'm, I am kind of like Parker. I could see it going either way with them. Um, uh, I kind of lean more towards saying they're safe, uh, knowing what else is coming as far as our discussions. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I, I I couldn't argue too much if someone said that they wanted to I think to we've done them. a great job at discussing them. We've all brought out the point that I wanted to get across with is that it's not a really good situation there. Um, I'm going to keep you safe for now because I know what else is coming. And we already have four teams at the table, but uh, you're on the watch list, Atlanta. <laughs> it's not a very good yep. history. Nah. Now our favorite, the AFC South. We're going to talk about the only team that has won Super Bowl titles in this league or in this division. 69 seasons, 23 and 25, two Super Bowl titles, the Indianapolis Colts. <laughs> they're safe. Um, I could go on a tangent, but it's going to go with they're safe. They were pretty bad, too, back in the day. Hardball. The, you know what, team. though? As a Titans fan, it pains me. They went from having Peyton Manning for, I don't know, 15 years. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, thank goodness. You know, and then they go just paintered. Mm-hmm. And then they get, they luck into luck. Andrew Luck. Yep. Luck into luck. Yep. You know, and then they bring in, I don't know about Carson Wentz. I know he's hurt now and all that stuff. They just have, have had recently mm-hmm. the most unbelievable quarterback yeah. luck. And Frank Wright is, is, is a great coach. They've got a great GM there. Um, to me, they're safe. I mean, yeah. I mean, you, the quarterback situation, the offensive line situation, Jesus. I mean, these guys are are, are just an absolute wall. Uh, it's hard not to hold on to a team that me as a Titans fan, I kind of cringe a little bit every time I, I look at the schedule and be like, oh, I don't – you know, Indianapolis always kind of makes me a little bit nervous. So, they're in for me. Never lost a game. We never beat Andrew Luck. Ever. I know. I know. And, and think about that. I mean – if something so crazy as you know a twenty-something-year-old just decides he's not going to play anymore at the top of his game, we're not even having this discussion right now. Nope. Yeah, they are completely safe for me. Um, the two Super Bowl t- titles obviously speak for themselves. Peyton Manning um, grew up. Gosh, grew up just absolutely. He was the Darth Vader of me growing up. You know, I never wanted to cheer for him, but. A huge amount of respect. I never hated him. It was mm-hmm. just like, ah, Peyton, he's, I can't get rid of him. He's on the Vols. He, now he's on the Colts. I can't yep. get rid of that I, guy. Yep. It's a total side note, man. With Peyton, I had such a – Vols fans love Peyton, right? And then he yep. went to Indy and was in the division. Ooh. And I would go to Titans games. I've been to every Titans game. And I, and I would go to him, and there'd be someone wearing a Vols Peyton jersey over there while we're playing them. Yeah. And then he was all about to come to – the Titans, and mm-hmm. I, I just had so many emotions. I didn't I know. know to think you, about As a Titans fan, you're just sitting there, <laughs> arms folded. You're like, damn it. <laughs> I don't know you what know. to do. Yeah, I don't really know what to do. Give me another beer. <laughs> Colt, yeah, Colts are safe. Now we're going to move to the hometown team. 62 attempts between Houston, Tennessee, 17 and 22 in postseason play. No Super Bowl titles, the Tennessee Titans. Titans are in purely for the fact of Bud Adams. Uh, NFL wouldn't be what it would be today without him. He should be in the Hall of Fame. It's a travesty that he is not yet. Uh, Titans also have maybe the best Super Bowl uh, competitively that there's ever been. Mm-hmm. The Titans also have arguably the greatest play in the history of the NFL, mm-hmm. which I was at. You just cannot kick out the Titans. There's too much history there. They have too much to do with the league. I'm obviously incredibly biased with this. Um, I, I know as of late, the fan base hasn't been the same because we've been terrible up until the last couple of years. Um, you, you you can't kick Tennessee out because of the the I almost look at that as a different as a, a positive because of where we're at we're in Nashville it's yeah. cheap it doesn't matter if you're in Buffalo or Jacksonville or Chicago it's a hundred dollar plane flight to come here yeah. get a ticket mm-hmm. enjoy Music City have a great time 
and and the NFL draft, we brought over 600,000 people here. The most anywhere has ever happened. Yep. Titans are safe. Totally in. I'm all about some two-tone blue. Uh, all the stuff that Parker said. Plus, I mean, I'm looking at the trajectory that this team's on, and I am loving the fact that we've got, you know, the tractor, Derrick Henry, just absolutely plowing folks. And I can't wait to see the type of team we can build around Tannehill with Julio Jones, A.J. Brown. Oh, my gosh. I'm, I'm kind of getting – I'm sweating a little bit right now just thinking about it. So, Guess who's not sweating? Not me. I'm not afraid of it. But uh, the Tennessee Titans are safe for me. I agree that they uh, one of the, if not the, but one of the most exciting Super Bowls. Yeah. Um, you can't just say, "Oh, that was all about the Rams," because it wasn't. Greatest show on turf. Steve McNair with that play Eddie at the George. end when he's got people dragging off I the back it. of him. It's I still I've seen that play hundred times. I still get good looks. looks. I know it. Looks. Freaking you know Friday Night Lights ending kind of thing. Yeah. You know it's amazing. I mean to me, Steve McNair is not. In the discussion for the Hall of Fame, but what a what a player, man! What a warrior! A Nashville legend. Gosh, he he was sleeping before games. That's my favorite. You go back and people are getting hyped up, and he's yeah. like, "Man, just let me let, let me, me take nap. my nap." And yeah. you, they'd be down by like six, and he'd walk around the side. Hey, guys, it's cool. I got it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, completely safe. We're gonna jump to a team that has twenty seven seasons under their belt, seven and seven. No Super Bowls. Gosh, they were just a few minutes away from putting the dagger in Tom Brady. The Jacksonville Jaguars. And now, before they say what they want to say, I'm going to go ahead and say, let's bring them to the table. And I'm the Jacksonville Jaguars fan, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a star and a circle around them. I want them to have a seat at this discussion table. If you want to save your fodder for the discussion table, so be it. But they're at the table. I've got a lot of points on this. So I'm more than happy to save it for the table, though. Because I, I agree they should be at the table. Yeah, I'm, they should definitely be discussed just because of the, the stats that Bradley mentioned. I mean, it, it's there's a lot to discuss there. I mean, I have my opinion of where they will ultimately end up, but we'll save it for the table. All right, so they have a seat. And then mm-hmm. finally, the last team that we want to discuss, 20 attempts, 20 seasons, four and six in postseason play, no Super Bowls, the Houston Texans. Two words, one man completely get this team out of the NFL, Bill O'Brien. Yep. Also, you would think an expansion team, you know, you get the first round, you get the first draft, you got to get a big player in. Who do the Houston Texans select? Carr. David Carr. Five seasons. Not one winning record. He threw 65 interceptions and had 68 fumbles. The Texans have never had an MVP. Obviously, like you said, they've never been to the Super Bowl. This team makes bad decisions. They traded away their best player in the uh, – Andre Johnson may be their best player – but, but Hopkins, d- Hopkins he's mm-hmm. arguably there. They traded him away for next peanuts. I mean, mm-hmm. next to nothing. This team, yes, they were better recently, and they won the division. But you know what? Winning the AFC South there in the in the 2010s, the 2016s, I ain't saying a whole lot. No, I'm with you. They got to be at least discussed. I, I don't have anything to say to add to that. I mean, I mean, you trade away DeAndre Hopkins, I think there's something wrong. I mean, they did get back David Johnson, so. <laughs> <laughs> what they have? Foster running the rock. Hey, Arian Foster, yeah. Damn. Wasn't he undrafted out of Tennessee? Oh, I think he was. Uh, Steel. Um, I 100% want to at least talk about them to have a seat at the table. Yeah. And then we can just review the ones that we put a star at because we still have a chair, I believe. One, two, three. Yeah, we have one chair left. So, so far at the discussion table, we have Cleveland, Cincinnati, Detroit, Jacksonville, and Arizona. But who we need to discuss to get to this last seat, the Jets, Houston, Tampa, or the Chargers. Somebody's got to at least get to the table, Mm. and then we'll get to the elimination round here. The Jets. (coughs) I'm sorry, go with those one more time. The Jets. Then we got the Jets, the Minnesota Vikings, Tampa Bay Bucks, the L.A. Chargers, Houston Texans. One of them has to join us at the discussion table. All right. I'll go ahead and lay my, my thoughts out. And I'm going to sound like I'm a uh, ragging on your boys here, but on Jacksonville, 
Oh, they're already at the table. Oh, they're at the table. I'm yeah, sorry. they're at the table. I'm sorry. Um, I just took them to the table. My bad. Myself. I, I heard that wrong. <sighs> Guys, I, I got to say, of these teams, I know they just won the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. But Tampa Bay sucks. Yeah. They're good the, this year, and they were good under Tony Dungy. I'm just going to say that. That was not a Gruden win. It was a Dungy win. Uh, that would be my vote into this. Um, the Jets, it's too big of a market. Mm. You can't take out a New York team. They have too much history. Uh, Tampa Bay doesn't want any of their teams. Uh, Nashville is going to have another baseball team before it's too long. Mm. I'm gonna Before Blake goes, because... I'm not agreeing with Parker here, so you can have two options if you want. Um, my argument is let's let's bring the Houston Texans to the table. This was this was a franchise that moved right here to our hometown, Middle Tennessee. Starting over, Parker already mentioned they spent that first year capital on car, had no offensive line to protect oh, it. God, that nobody. They're just nothing. Four wins. I mean. I know that they haven't played 54 seasons like the Bengals, which they only have five wins, but but you, postseason. As a franchise, as a new franchise, you can be good. Jacksonville showed that. Carolina, Carolina. showed that. Ooh, I, yeah. I, I, my argument uh, over Tampa, at least to bring them to the table, Houston Texans. Uh, let's see here, because that's two very – I mean, those are the two that I was thinking. I was like, man, Tampa Bay – you wrong. take away this last year, they're they're just god awful. Mm-hmm. Um, at least there for a while, Houston was just kind of. Are yeah. you are you okay with not having the Chargers at the table? Because that was a team that you've mentioned That's in true. pre in. I, pre- hey, game, pre- I know, I know, but I am. I, I mean, they do have cool uniforms though. Yeah. <laughs> I um. San Diego. I think I'm going to be extremely controversial here, and I'm going to say that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers need to be brought to the table. To the table. All right, Houston, I don't know how it happened, but you're safe. So here we have the table. We've got to get half of these to the chopping block, and maybe all three will be eliminated. But yep, of the six, we have the entire state of Ohio. Mm-hmm. So we have Cleveland and Cincinnati. We have the Detroit Lions. The Jacksonville Jaguars, the Tampa Bay Bucks, and the Arizona Cardinals. We're going to at least eliminate two, but can we get this table from six to three? Or do you even want to go six to four, maybe, in the final discussion? Just take a look at these. Are there even two that stand out as safe? I was about to say, there's a couple that still It's really bad. Um, I mean, now when you have six, because I didn't even want to bring the Bucks here, as bad as I said that they were, are they safe among these six? Mm. It's hard to take the recency bias out of it. Yeah, it really is. It's very. I mean, it's it would. It's such a difficult thing to say that last year's Super Bowl champ should not even be in the league anymore. <laughs> it's <laughs> very, very difficult to say that. I think and it's I think fair to say. they're going to be probably pretty good this year, too. Oh, they're the favorites. Well, actually, I, I think the Kansas City's the favorites, but they're right behind it. Right. Right. I mean, I'd, I'd probably, amongst these teams, now that we're not comparing them against the, right. the whole of the NFL, I'm, I'm okay with putting them right. in, as safe. I want to jump to my team real quick because we didn't really talk about them much. Let's let's discuss the Jags. Okay. Go ahead. Whoever wants to do it. Okay. I have a lot about You've them. already said some false information about they just want to Whoa. Move. I mean, Shad Khan has put that discussion to rest. Shad Khan's too busy buying soccer teams, but that's a whole other No, thing. no, he's not. <laughs> he's too busy investing in the city investing. of Investing. Look, I don't I don't I don't care anything about the city, but I mean the the facts are the facts. He's spending Millions and millions in that city. I, I think you're, I think, hold on. I think you're going to like my argument. But the fact is, Jacksonville has a tough time filling the seats, correct? Correct. And in fact, they have played in London. They have signed up to play in London more than any other NFL team because of that. It's smart. According to a recent social media study, considering mentions about the Jacksonville Jaguars and different NFL teams, the Jags are in last and it's not even close. This is going back to 2019. They had 2 million mentions. The next closest were the Tennessee Titans at 2.2 million. It's 200,000 different. From 2010 to 2017, the Jags 
didn't have a pick outside the top 10. As of 2020, four of those top 10 picks are out of the league. The only really good player, Jalen Ramsey, faked a back injury Mm -hmm. so he could be traded from the team. The Jags are so dysfunctional that in a very rare statement, the players' union came out and said, you should reconsider joining Jacksonville. They sure did. Because of all the complaints from 2017 to 2019, out of 32 teams in the league, Jacksonville amounted for 25% of the complaints. I could go back looking at the first round draft picks. I looked from 2018 going backwards. Let's just say this. The 10 years, I didn't do after 2018. It's, it's not enough sample size, right? There aren't many. I mean, they're, 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 they're pretty bad. Let's just, just say that. My main problem with the Jags is I can't find an argument to keep them. Uh, they started off great. If you look at some of their early stuff, they were loaded. Mark Brunel, Fred Taylor, like uh, they had some awesome, awesome teams. My biggest argument for keeping the Jags, which I think this eliminates some other teams, much like college, I'm opposite in this one. It's too small of a sample size. They did go to the AFC Championship year, game a couple of years ago. They have had some AFC Championship games and lost them to other teams. But th- there's a chance. What I'm saying is they haven't been bad for 90 years. Ooh, that's true. They've been bad on and off for t- what, what, 27. 27. Se- gosh, I'm getting old. I was about to say 20. <laughs> <laughs> so my argument for the Jags, while it's damning and it's bad, I can stats all day against them. I just don't think they've been in the league long enough to – Nix them. Totally agree. I that is my beginning and end of the argument for me. Uh, yes, I mean, look, as a Titans fan, shit, I love playing them. <laughs> yeah, home away I from mean, home. I, I mean, but it, it, it's the fact still remains. Like Parker says, I think we have to have a bigger sample size to make an accurate judgment on that. Are they a horribly run organization? I think so. It seems like everything points to that. Uh, but, um, I think for the most part, I think that the small sample size eliminates them from the chopping block. I want to take you to a step back a second. He said, pump your brakes. Who was the first coach in Jaguars history? Don't give a shit. Tom Um, Coughlin. Tom Coughlin. All right. So the one that got him in trouble most recently. Let me tie it back. (laughs) Let me tie it back. So Tom Mm -hmm. Coughlin is what brought them the early success, right? Yes. He goes on to the Giants, gives them the Super Bowls. He comes back to Jacksonville. He's the one that killed them. Mm -hmm. He brought them to life. And I, as the Jacksonville Jaguar fan, am just calling him out right here. Tom Coughlin, you are the reason why they had the complaints. Not their ownership. Jalen Ramsey loves Shad Khan. Loves Tony Khan. But some of the things that you said to the players and you said to Jalen Ramsey is what started all this. One single person, not the ownership. It's this guy that was VP. And guess what? The cons got rid of him. Proactive. They found what the source of the problem was and out he goes. A Jaguar legend. I mean, he's got to be. He was the first coach, right? Yeah. and He, I mean, he came he took- back. But they 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 found out what the source of the issue was, and out he goes. I, I have a question for I, you. I applaud Shad Khan for doing. It. I I don't know this, and, and maybe All I right. know the Titans have like a Ring of Honor. Yeah, is is Coughlin in that for the Jacksonville? Because it's a really, I mean, because he took him. I mean, you're right. I, the, I, I was wondering if he was in it before the, all this latest stuff. Yeah, he was the pride of the Jaguars, but. Uh, that is the sole reason why you brought up the facts about the complaints from 2017 to 2019. He was VP under Shad Khan because at that point, Shad Khan was like, look, I'm new at this. I'm going to have a hands-off approach. I'm going to trust the people that have been in football for years. But then when Shad Khan has this open door policy with the players, you know, come talk to me because I want to learn more. And he is the one fielding the complaints. He's the one hearing from the players because the players like him and trust him enough to be open with Shad Khan. 
that they together figured out what the problem was and out he goes. So what I'm hearing is, is that this is, even plays more into the small, too small of a sample size. You know, we, we've got, we think we've got rid of the problem. There's not enough evidence here to say this team needs to go. That's I, what I, I hear. That's what I hear too. But I do think that we're on the doorstep of knowing what it is. Maybe. Uh, but I mean, they, they've went out and they've hired a very controversial coach. Yeah. They've made some controversial draft picks. Did they luck into Trevor Lawrence? I, I mean, the Jets, I think Jets, it's really just lucky. Like I said, yeah, the Jets really, really yes. lucky. <laughs> the Jets into not getting Trevor Lawrence. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, hey, time will tell. Time will tell, in my opinion. I think this is this is the kind of these are the kind of moves that will probably, you know, two years, two or three years from now, we would have an answer to the, to the question whether they should be discussed about being gone. I appreciate your thoughts, though. I just wanted to bring you back, give you some inside Jaguar knowledge of that's good. That's one good. singular person. Yep. Caused the shit show. All right. Jalen Ramsey did the right thing. And you and you know what? When uh, one more thing. That Coughlin, how he ran it in the the nineties, that type of discipline worked. Yeah, it did. It, it's a different. It's a, it's a different, different time. It's different. Yeah, totally different. Yeah. Totally so different. are we? We're I think they're safe. In. We're say, we're saying that they're yeah. safe. So Tampa and Jacksonville are safe. We still got the entire state of Ohio, <laughs> Detroit, and Arizona. What are we doing with these four? I would only even once that I didn't give earlier about Cleveland. I mentioned it with Jameis. There's one. There's one team that has a a, a passer that has more yards than him. And for Cleveland, I had to do some research. I don't even know who this guy is. <laughs> his name's Brian Sipe. I don't even know how to say. He threw, threw for twenty three thousand yards in a league where you can throw for four to five thousand a year nowadays. I mean, I know this guy was playing decades ago. But you're telling me they can't get one person to throw for more than twenty three thousand yards? They are just awful. Uh, I mean, I just wanted to throw that one out there. Yeah, I mean, I, I am of the opinion that the entire state of Ohio needs to be on the chopping block. I think we're really talking about, in my opinion, one more spot. I, I, I know which one to me is the most obvious of all of them. To me, I hate Detroit. It's Detroit. Yeah, it's 100. percent I think I think we're all on the same page there. You can't take the greatest tight end, the greatest wide receiver, the greatest running no. back, and force them in retirement you, and still be there. You guys made them quit. Yeah, you robbed them. That and this is when we were growing up, and they were like, "Man, they're awesome!" And you took that away from us. Shame yeah. on you, Detroit. Absolutely. So we're gonna eliminate three. Uh, I think we need to have that discussion right now. We know the three. Mm. It's the entire state of Ohio. And now we've included Detroit. Are we taking two away? Are we taking all three? God. What are we What are we thinking here, guys? Oh Did we have God. a fourth that we didn't? We Arizona. Arizona was the other one. And and honestly, or do you throw a bone and let Ohio keep one? <laughs> man, dog I cow. say we throw a dog bone. Oh, okay. And I'll keep Cleveland if we want to discuss Arizona instead. I'm okay with throwing a dog bone. The dog pound, you get the bone. Uh, Arizona's lost more games than anybody in the history of the NFL. I don't yeah. know what else, what what other stat can be more than that. We hate Detroit. They've lost ninety more games than Detroit. Yeah, well, I the, think that that settles it. There, I guess Cleveland, the Pro Football Hall of Fame, is there, right in Ohio. Can't, yeah, that's can't. Ooh, that's a good point. Yeah. So I say Cleveland. Though. All right, so Cleveland. So it's Cincinnati, Arizona, Detroit. Been saved. All right, uh, so now we're down to Arizona. Detroit, Detroit, and Cincinnati. and Cincinnati, or Cincinnati, as we say in the Deep South. Okay, so Arizona's had 102 chances with nothing. Seven postseason wins, the same amount that my Jacksonville Jaguars have in a quarter of the time. Detroit, 92 attempts. They also have seven victories. We know the dumpster they are. And then Cincinnati, only five. Y'all go ahead and talk because I've already, I think, made my mind up over here. Do you have any more notes? I would say pitiful? the one good thing about Cincinnati is one of their founders also founded Cleveland Browns, Paul Brown, mm -hmm. one of the founders of these teams. I mean, the Browns are named after him. He was also instrumental in f founding the, the Bengals. He's in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Like, can you take one of his teams away? I don't know if this matters, but we talked earlier about going and buying the Buffalo Bills and being the cheapest team there is. Well, you know what? If you got a few extra bucks, you can buy the Cincinnati Bengals. <laughs> They're the next. <laughs> They're next on that list. Um, they've got one Hall of Famer. Like they are notoriously 
just they're bad. They're both awful teams. But Arizona again has been in Arizona for thirty three years and won six winning seasons. It feels like a flip of the coin to me. And and talk about net worth. While uh, uh, Cincinnati may be worth thirty, it was the thirty first rated. Arizona's twenty seventh. It's not like yeah, it's, it's not like we're talking about a large. But, yeah, we're not talking about the Cowboys. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know what this discussion makes me think though is that all three of us are ready to just go ahead and kick Detroit out because we're not even talking about them anymore. No, I mean, uh, y'all go ahead. I'm about to I'm about to give my my opinion. Oh, I'm ready. All three of them need to get their ass out <laughs> oh. of the NFL. I'm going to be honest. I mean, mean, we're talking about how terrible three terrible teams have been for Mm. a terrible amount of time. It is absolutely awful having to even hear someone spit out all these stats. It's it it pains me to even think about this stuff. We're talking about teams that have been bad for a very long time. We talk about small sample size with teams, you know, Arizona, 30 something year, whatever. But dude, six winning seasons in 30 years. Mm. I mean, when does that ever fly anywhere other than a place that you've forgotten about? And, and that was with your missionary going in there. Exactly. I, my vote gone, all three of them. So y'all are going to have to decide if y'all are either in there or one of them is going to have to stay. I don't, I don't think there's going to be one team that's going to be gone and two are saved. I would say that the deciding factor could be with who, who looks better, but I believe both our head coaches are going to be fired this year. Uh, man all right so look kyler murray if arizona was done today you could go play baseball yeah it's true larry fitzgerald you could retire and be in the hall of fame yeah hopkins you can go back to the texans if you want we say <laughs> there, there, <you> <laughs> there you go there you go throw it to him Detroit, I got nothing for you. The league will live on. They'll find something for that eleven thirty slot on Thanksgiving morning. I say you're <laughs> out. Detroit's gone for sure. Yeah. Uh, Cincinnati, God, I got nothing good from them. Joe Burrow, I mean, this league is watered down, and they they don't have enough quarterbacks. You could find another team ASAP. You can go to Philly. Yeah, Here's I mean, some- you're, and you're talking about a team that can't keep their star quarterback that they just drafted upright. Yeah. <sighs> So, I mean, it, it's just digging that grave even deeper to me. Well, if you two want, I'm all right with getting rid of all three of them as well. I am too. Unless think- you want to save Cincinnati. There's something about Arizona that burns my biscuits. <laughs> you know, the only thing bad about saving Cincinnati is we went from destroying the entire state of Ohio. <laughs> to saving To them save all? both of them. I'm still okay with losing the entire state of Ohio, but I, I will acquiesce to y'all's uh, mm. to y'all's discussion down there. I, I I'm okay with giving Mr. Brown his team. Man, I still lean towards all three of them. I do too. So the official decision is Cincinnati, Detroit, and Arizona. You're fired. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Oh just man, dropped. he just had headphone dropped it. That was I, the NFL eliminated. That was it. Mm. Three teams, they're gone. NFL's a little bit lighter. I think they're a little bit better. A little today. bit leaner today. Because now you get the little watered downness. You have more yep. players, actual dogs, players on the other teams. Yep. A little better product. Yep. I would totally agree. Totally agree. Well, guys, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Matthew Parker for joining us today in studio, if you will. Uh, check us out on Twitter at the underscore dad underscore code, as well as on Instagram at the dad code podcast and on Facebook, the dad code email us questions, concerns, comments, how good looking Matt is here, whatever you want. The dad code podcast at gmail.com guys, any closing remarks? Go Jags. We'll eliminate them in five years. Time to tighten up. Y'all be well.